This is Sarah Threadster, Nurse RN.com, and in this video, I'm gonna demonstrate how to give an intramuscular injection in the deltoid. Before ever administering any type of medication, including IM injections, you always wanna review your facility's protocol and how they require you to administer that certain medication. Now, before actually giving the IM injection, there's some prep work you have to do. First of all, you have to make sure you have the right patient, the right medication, are you giving the right dose at the right time and the right route? So double check all those things. In addition, you wanna get your supplies ready. And to do this, you have to do some critical thinking. So first of all, you need to ask yourself, okay, what muscle are we going to be giving this injection in? Here in this video, we're gonna be doing the deltoid. So let's review some things about the deltoid muscle. It's located up here in this region. And this muscle is a little bit smaller than the other muscles you can use. It can only hold about one to two milliliters of a solution. So if you need to give more amounts of a solution, you need to go in a larger muscle like the ventrogluteal muscle. Next, you want to look at how your patient is built. Generally, the guidelines for a needle length in giving a deltoid injection is about a one inch needle to a one and a half inch needle. So look at your patient. Do they have a lot of adipose fatty tissue over that deltoid muscle? If so, you wanna use the longer of the two options. So one and a half needle length would be good. Here we're going to use a one inch needle. Next, you wanna look at the gauge of needle. This is how big that hole of that needle is that allows that solution to go through. So most vaccines are watery. So you can give anywhere from a 20 to a 25 gauge needle. Here we're gonna use a 23 gauge. But if you were doing like a thicker solution that's oily, you would wanna use anywhere between an 18 to 25 gauge needle. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna gather our supplies, perform hand hygiene, and it's optional if you want to wear gloves. According to the CDC.gov, gloves are not required when administering vaccines unless the person administering the vaccine is likely to come into contact with potentially infectious body fluids or has open lesions on hands. Therefore, gloves are optional. Personally, I like to wear gloves because I never know what I may come into contact with. Then, of course, you want to explain the procedure to the patient, what you're going to be doing, what you're administering to them. And a tip, whenever I give vaccines, I always like to ask the patient, are they right or left-handed? Because I like to give the deltoid IM injection in their non-dominant arm. Because if you've ever had a vaccine or an injection before in your arm, it can get sore. So always try to take that into consideration. Before you give the injection, you can have the patient stand or sit. If your patient doesn't like needles, it's probably best to have them sit in case they pass out. So where we're going is the deltoid muscle. It's located up in this area. So what you wanna do is you want to have the patient completely like relax their arm. You do not want this muscle to be tensed up because it's gonna be a little bit more painful for them. So tell them to relax as much as possible. Then we're going to find where we're going. So to find the deltoid muscle for an injection site, we want to use landmarks. So our first landmark is called the chromion process. This is found high up where the shoulder is and it comes out and it's like a bony prominence. Just fill on yourself where it is. It's really easy to find. So you're gonna fill that and you're gonna go about two fingers width down from that area. So we have our two fingers. So we're gonna go about right here in this area. Once we have our area, what we wanna do is we want to clean the injection site. So we're gonna take our alcohol prep, we're going to start in the center and we're gonna work our way outward and cleanse the area and let that dry completely. Don't blow on it, let it air dry. Now to give the injection, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use what's called a Z-Track technique. This is now recommended for all IM injections. And what this technique does is number one, it decreases pain for the patient, but it helps prevent the solution that we're instilling from actually going in that sub-Q tissue. We want this to go in the muscle, not the sub-Q tissue. So the z track technique helps with that. Back in the day, they taught to pinch the skin up, bunch it up to give the vaccine. That's no longer recommended, but the z track method. So what we're gonna do to do that, we're gonna take our non-dominant hand and we're just gonna go to the side of where an injection site is going to be and we're just gonna put a little bit of pressure and we're just going to pull the skin to the side. Then we're gonna take our dominant 
hand with the injection, the needle, and we're gonna go in like we're shooting a dart at a 90 degree angle. And you'll want to do this quickly to cause the patient less pain. So we want to steady our syringe. So we're gonna take our thumb and our forefinger and just hold it steady. Then we're gonna take our dominant hand and depress the plunger and instill that fluid slowly, about over 10 seconds per ml. This was half an ml, so we're gonna do about five seconds. And then once you have instilled it, wait about 10 more seconds to let all that fluid go down into that muscle. And then what we're gonna do is we are going to take it out the same angle we had inserted it. We're going to engage our safety. Never recap a used needle. Then you can take a gauze and cover the area. Sometimes it can bleed if your patient's on blood thinners, but never massage the area because that can increase the solution going into the sub-Q tissue. And then dispose of your syringe and needle in the sharps container. Once you're done with that, of course what you wanna do is you want to perform hand hygiene and you want to document. You're gonna document what muscle you use, on what side, and how the patient responded along with how much medication you instilled in that muscle. Now notice, whenever I was giving that IM injection, I did not aspirate. Aspiration for IM injections is no longer recommended according to CDC.gov. They say aspiration before injection of vaccines or toxoids, which is pulling back on the syringe plunger after needle insertion before injection, is not necessary because no large vessels are present at the recommended injection sites. And a process that includes aspiration might be more painful for infants. Okay, so that wraps up how to give an IM injection in the deltoid. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos.